This is a demonstration of how ClickFox and ClickFox Pulse can show insights and start to answer questions about service truck roles. From the business driver page within ClickFox Pulse, we can see that service truck roles have spiked in recent weeks, a concerning change. So if we click in, we can learn more about what's going on with this behavior. When we click into to Pulse, what we've done is we've defined a business driver as service truck roles or visits to homes or businesses of customers to take care of a technical issue or a service issue. On the bottom, we see a timeline of service truck rolls over time. And what we're doing is we're comparing the results and the data between two time periods. So if I move this second time period towards the spike in activity, Pulse will automatically refresh the data and tell us what may be driving that change. We can see here information around what was the increase, 168% increase over time. That's concerning. To add some magnitude to that, we also have the ability to look at the difference in volumes. And there was almost 6,500 additional service truck rolls in this second time period as compared to this first time period. And we also are able to tie in financial impacts. What's the cost impact of these additional truck rolls? So that I not only have volume information, but I also have a quick, easy way to understand what is this costing me. So I've identified that the increase in truck rolls is definitely an issue. And now I'm going to use Pulse to go solve some of the problems and understand what are the behaviors of customers who are experiencing this increase in service truck roll activity. So what Pulse is going to do is Pulse is going to go out across all of the possible customer experiences, and it's going to roll up the most impactful and the most pertinent customer paths across touch points that led to a service truck roll. So what we see here is we see five significant paths that Pulse has gone out and found that led to a service truck roll. This most popular path we're able to click on and see that a support call or a tech support call was the most popular previous step to a service truck roll. With each of the paths, we're able to see volumetric information as far as how many additional truck rolls did this drive, in this case, about 7,800. But also, what was the cost of that specific path? This is a phone call and a truck roll, and in aggregate, that cost us an additional $821,000. We see different paths that are, you know, an additional channel included, web tech support, followed by a support call, by a service truck roll. And again, volumes and costs. This is an interesting one up top here. This is an activation call, setting up service, an installation truck roll, a support call, followed by a service truck roll. So again, two truck rolls with the same experience. And this is poor because this is at the beginning of this customer's life cycle at, at this company. Let's dig into this one a little more. For each of those top paths that we have that Pulse identified, we're able to get details around what are some specifics of what's happening within those paths. Each of those paths is broken out here in detail. Now what Pulse is doing, this is the most popular path, support call to service truck roll. What Pulse is doing is Pulse is again, like I mentioned, looking across all of the possible customer experiences. We see lots of paths here that are possible. But what Pulse does is it's, it removes the noise and only brings to the forefront the most interesting and relevant information, which is there's a lot of ways to get to a support call, but at the end of the day, a support call to a service truck roll is the most popular path. Let's go back to our example of the, of the activation call. So again, this is an experience where the customer is setting up service, and right away, they have to not only get an installation truck roll, which is expected, but make some kind of phone call, followed by a service truck roll after that, in order to uh, you know, have their service work. This is not an experience you want your customers to have out of the gates. So we've identified this path as a cause of service truck rolls. So what's, what we need to do to complete the picture is understand who are these customers that have these experiences and start to break down, you know, can we do something about how these people are interacting with us? So what we're able to do in Pulse is pull up key customer segments around these additional truck rolls. So we have all the information about the path. We know the path they're taking. Now we get additional information about who these customers are so we get a clearer picture of what we can do to prevent this in the future. So if we look at this, we see that most of the activations that have this increased service 
uh, activity are Scientific Atlanta set-top boxes, and they were installed by the West Field Tech Group. What we can then do is say, okay, I know the path, and I know information about who these people are. ClickBox Pulse enables us to predict based on customers who are experiencing similar paths, as well as customers who have demonstrated similar attributes. We can then export this list of customers who had a field tech from the West do the installation and did an installation with the Scientific Atlanta set-top box. We can then export this, and we've got a finite list of customers to go after and make an attempt to, to make sure that they're being serviced appropriately without having to make a phone call and send another truck. So Pulse has done some very advanced analytics and helped us not only identify what are the causes of these service truck rolls, but also who are, who are the people that experience these and what can we do about it. Another way that ClickFox enables metrics measurement and business driver measurement is in our dashboard. And here we can build trended views of key metrics and key business drivers over time to show how is the business moving. Is it moving in the right direction or is it moving in the wrong direction? We talked about service truck rolls before. One of the metrics we've got measured here in this dashboard page is avoidable service truck rolls. So those are truck rolls that could have been handled by the phone representative or could have been handled by the customer themselves without sending a technician out. And we've plotted avoidable truck rolls versus overall service truck rolls and then plotted a percent of that. And we've now got a metric that tells us what percentage of our, of our service truck rolls were avoidable. And we see things like on this day, it's almost 12% avoidable, which is high. But we've also got some valleys down here where this is 7.3% avoidable on this day. This is a better day. So we've got this metric. Now let's use ClickFox to further go understand what or who is driving these truck rolls. What we're looking at in this chart is this is the percentage of tech support calls that end up in an avoidable service truck roll within seven days. So this shows an aggregate view day over day as we move seven days from the phone call. And what we see is the percentage of those phone calls to tech support that ended up in an avoidable service truck roll. In this case, two and a half percent. So that may seem like a low number. We can also apply some volumetric information to understand that that was 1,043 avoidable service truck rolls driven by phone calls from just two weeks. That's pretty impactful. Let's go start to answer who are these agents and who are these people that are driving these, these avoidable truck rolls. We can break it down by call center. This is broken down by Bakersfield, Anderson, and El Paso, three call centers. And we see that Bakersfield, almost 4%, well over 4% of their tech support calls end up in a service truck roll that's avoidable. We can break it down by agent skill group. Different tiers, tier three being the least skilled, skilled tier one being the most, the most skilled. Tier three drives three and a half percent of their calls into avoidable service truck rolls versus tier one, only 2%. Should tier three be even allowed to deploy truck rolls? Some more data around who these agents are. And then finally, we're able to get to the, the lowest level of detail, which is who are the actual agents responsible for these avoidable truck rolls? And we see that agent 1903 over these two weeks drove 25 avoidable service truck rolls, and that was almost 5% of their phone calls. We've now identified people that we can do some additional training with, as well as potentially do some disciplinary action with. We got down to that level of detail. So what we've shown in this demonstration is how ClickFox and ClickFox Pulse can not only identify and measure metrics like service truck rolls, but also begin to tell you the behaviors that precede those service truck rolls, the customer segments that drive those service truck rolls, and begin to answer some of the questions around what can we do about it and what actions can we take to reduce those. Thank you.